Good evening once again. Happy Friday. A renewed call tonight for witnesses in an 18-year-old murder case. Yes, Chautauqua County authorities hoping any new information will help them find the person who killed Yolanda Bendix and finally bring her family some closure. The sheriff's office says it wants to talk with anyone who may have seen Bendix the night she disappeared in 2004. She was last seen at a family dollar store on Fluvana Avenue in Jamestown. Authorities also want to hear from people who saw the father of Bindix child, Clarence Cart, that night. Cart was seen leaving a quick fill down the road around the same time. Now, while Bindix was last seen in 2004, her remains weren't found until 2008 in a wooded area 30 minutes away. Then earlier this year, the Chautauqua County Sheriff's Office announced that they had new leads and new technology available in this case. 7 News senior reporter Eileen Buckley in Jamestown tonight following today's newest developments. The Chautauqua County Sheriff's Office now wants to speak with anyone who may have saw or talked to Yolanda Bindix and or the father of her youngest child on the night of her disappearance in 2004. We have a surveillance video and captured on that is Clarence Cart. Cart is the father of Bindix's youngest child. The Unsolved Cases team of the Chautauqua County Sheriff's Office recently stepped in to find out who killed the mother of four 18 years ago. Bindix was last seen leaving the family dollar store on Fluvanna Avenue in Jamestown around 8.10 p.m. on August 10th, 2004. Around the same time, investigators say Cart was seen leaving the Quickfill store also on Fluvanna Avenue. Unsolved Cases investigator Tom Tarpley tells me their surveillance video now gives new evidence in this case, showing Cart at the Quickfill store directly across the street from where Bindix was last spotted. He is captured on that videotape moments before the victim left her job that night, and we are looking for somebody that may have seen some interaction between them at that location or also down the street at the Arby's on Fluvanna Avenue, which is where her vehicle was located. The 25-year-old Bindex disappeared while walking home from her job at the Family Dollar. Her skeletal remains were found two years later in September 2006 in a wooded area in the town of Charlotte. The Unsolved Crimes Unit wants to speak to anyone who saw or spoke with Bindex or CART between the hours of 7 p.m. on August 10th, 2004 and 6 a.m. on August 11th, 2004. We're hoping that maybe somebody might have known them, might have been driving by, might have seen some type of an argument, might have seen some interaction that, that they remember that they just didn't report at the time because they didn't think anything of it. Tarpley says Cart is not a person of interest at this time. Tarpley also confirmed for me that Cart now lives in Florida and does have a criminal past. Members of this Jamestown community that I've spoken with say it's very sad that this case still remains unresolved. I think it's terrible that things can't be uh, settled for the family and that just breaks my heart. Tarpley says they have a lot of new information in this case and are now at the point where they are in the process of briefing the Chautauqua County District Attorney. Investigator Tarpley tells me it's time for a resolution in this case. In Mayville, Eileen Buckley, 7 News. All right, 7 News anchor Hannah Bueller joining us. You've been following this for a long time and it's been nearly 20 years. The family's still looking for answers and you spoke with some of them today. Yeah, and in fact, Lee, I remember this from when I was a young girl. Um, we have a property very close to where this happened, and this family has never given up. I've gotten to know them over the past nine, ten years. And each year they have tried to keep Yolanda's story front and center on her birthday and on August 10th, the day she disappeared 18 years ago. And today they are feeling that justice for Yolanda Bindix is so close. Tears of joy sadness um just thinking wow we're finally maybe gonna you know get come to the end of this get the justice that you know we want and that my aunt deserves um it was kind of a mixed emotion of everything how about you Anne? uh i wasn't sure how to feel at first but it i feel that with this new with the new investigators working very hard i think that that obviously we're a lot closer than we've ever been and we hope that this is solved immediately but 
it gives me chills kind of just thinking about how obviously they know they're focusing on him one person so that says a lot and like she said justice could be right around the corner and that's what we're hoping for the family says they knew cart was at that gas station but they had never seen the surveillance photo that you're looking at on your screen until today they told me it was a really eerie feeling to see that and they will not rest until an arrest is made in this case they are hopeful though with the chautauqua county sheriffs and this new unsolved crime unit and these investigators working on this case this is the farthest they've ever gotten, they told me, and they are more hopeful than ever before. They also want to remind everybody out there, anyone who's watching, there is reward money out there, not only from Crime Stoppers, which is about $1,000, but it's being increased, but also from the FBI. FBI offering about $15,000 mm. for any information. It's a small community in Chautauqua County. That's a very um, small area there on Fluvanna Avenue, the Arby's where her car was found, uh, the now save a lot, which was the family dollar, and then that gas station right across the street. And that's what investigators are saying. If you saw something, if you remember something, call the Chautauqua County Sheriff's Office. It has been such a long road for this family, for the yeah. community, really. Maybe, really a, yeah. maybe another step forward towards justice tonight. Yeah, hopefully They're hopeful. they solve it soon. Yeah. All right. yeah, thank, thank you, you Hannah.